Hey, West Virginia Tim, I just pulled into the gadgets of Berkeley County, GBC1 Visitor Center. There's a brand new uh, gadget trail right here in Berkeley County, West Virginia. You really need to check it out because within 10 miles of right here from this spot that I am, there are old cashers have given the caches in this area over 4,500 favorite votes. That makes this area like a caching mecca. So if you're looking for a weekend getaway and you love gadget caches, you ought to look at, look at coming here. Now, we're here. I'm going to take a little look around. Okay, I'm out of the car. Uh, Ground Zero has brought me to a very historical location. I'm at a busy intersection in downtown Martinsburg. This right here in front of me is the only iron frame roundhouse left standing in the world today. Um, so this is a whole train yard. And of course, you're at a roundhouse. What do you expect but a train? And just right over here is the visitor center. Let's go up and get a little closer look at that. Okay, so this is actually the Berkeley County Visitor Center now. So this is where they'll actually come back to claim their coin. Right here at the, right here at the visitor center. No. The cash page says stay in your car, but I had to take a look around and see if I see anything that says 107.1 because the hint on the cash page says 107.1. So I've taken a look around and I don't see anything. So I'm going to do what every good cashier does last. He reads the cash page and then does what the cash page says. So it says stay in your car and do the right thing. So I'm going to go to my car and uh, see if I get inspiration. Now, the only thing I can think of, the cash page says the hint is 107.1. Is it a possibility that if I hit my radio to 107.1, that uh, it might do something? I, I, so I'm hitting 107.1. And here's the beginning. Welcome to Geocaching Radio. This is your host, West Virginia Tim. I hope this ends up being a really unique caching experience for you. Hey, congratulations, you found stage one. Stage two is only a couple blocks away, and I'm going to give you those cords in a minute, so better grab a pencil. First, let me give you a little bit of history about Bell Boyd. Just across Okay, and then it goes on to give me a great history lesson about the Confederate spy, Bell Boyd. And Bell Boyd, uh, his home is right across the street, and that's exactly where the Martinsburg Berkeley County Convention Visitors Bureau is. But I'll stop and give you those coordinates in a second. So get a pencil ready. You're going to need to write down these numbers. While you're looking for that pencil, I'm going to tell you one more story about Bill Boyd. One evening. Okay. So it's told the cashier that uh, get a pencil ready. It's going to get the coordinates to stage two. You know there has to be a second stage, even though it's a puzzle cache, uh, because there's a geocache right there in the visitor center. So I'm going to grab a pencil, and hopefully it's going to give me the coordinates here in a second, and I'll take those down, and then off to stage two. Now stage two is just a normal cache, so we're going to skip that part, and I'm going to go right to how do you build this thing. This is just one cache in the Gadgets of Berkeley County Geo Trail. If you find 12 of the 13 caches, you can earn a geo coin. You'll need to write down the code word provided to each one of the caches, then bring those code words back to the visitor center to claim your coin. One per household. If you have any questions, go to the visitor center. It's right there in front of you. Go in and ask them for any, for any information that you need. Happy geocaching. If you miss something, hang around. This loop's going to repeat, 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 repeat. Okay. And then notice what's going to happen. Welcome to Geocaching Radio. This is your host, West Virginia 10. I hope this ends up being a really unique caching experience. Okay, so the loop just keeps repeating. So let's not go to stage two. Let's head back and figure out how in the world can I do this where I live. Okay, first of all, I got this idea when I went looking at Christmas lights. And there was a sign in the front of the house that said, Tune your radio, and it gave a station. You tune your uh, car radio to that station, and the music syncs with the lights. I said, I can use that for geocaching. What they use is a whole house transmitter. Um, this is an older one. The new ones, I think, are just a little bit over $100. Uh, I bought this on eBay, and I think I only paid $20-some dollars for it. It gives you different choices of a station. that You can, you can pick a station that has it on the back, 
you can pick a station that's very weak in the area that you're in. Uh, this plugs into the electric, so it runs continuously. This is the antenna, so when I put this out, I'll actually put this antenna, I'll tape it along the window, so it will transmit. It'll transmit about uh, 400 feet. So, this is my transmitter. Now I need an audio source. So, uh, I had a, 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 a little less expensive iPod that I used. Um, this iPod won't work. The reason it won't, there's no place actually to plug it in. This plugs in, has a battery in it. Uh, this is one you jog with, um, but it doesn't allow you to charge it. So I've, I make sure that if you have a uh, your audio source, it doesn't have to be an iPod, it can be any audio source, but it has to be able to be plugged in so that it can run continuously. Uh, I, I'm using iPod because I'm familiar with it. I can charge it continuously. I can plug this in and I can put this on repeat and it will just take the same audio recording and it will play it over and over and over and over. So the other thing now I have to do is take the recording and that I put on here and I have to trans um, it has to be transmitted from here. So you just go to Best Buy. It's a real simple little cord. Um, this you plug this in to the place that you would plug your earphones in, and there's a place on my FM transmitter, and I plug it in there. Um, and so I plug both of these in. I turn this on, and then I just use radio to test it. So let me test it and show you that you can do all this at home. Now, I recorded it on, um, I have been recorded on my iMac. Uh, you can record it on anything that you can record on to, but I recorded it on my iMac, uh, downloaded it over to iTunes, which took about, you know, 10 seconds, and then downloaded it on my iPod, and that's how I did it. Okay, you might be able to hear this little hum. I have the radio on. Um, so now everything's plugged in. I got a little teeny red light over here on my transmitter. Uh, I have a radio here set to the right station. I now just go to my iPod and I hit play. Welcome to Geocaching Radio. This is your host, West Virginia Tim. Welcome to, hope, to what I hope will be a really unique caching Okay, so now this sit here, and I've tested this at the house uh, before I put it out. I've let this play for a week, and it continually plays. I haven't had a bit of problems. Um, as far as power, um, the uh, whole house FM transmitter, it says just uses pennies a year. Uh, we know the iPod doesn't use much, so it's very inexpensive to run. This is something you can do. Uh, you can use it for a multi. Um, th th the sky's the limit on the different things that you can broadcast. So actually, here on my station, I'm actually giving a little bit of history uh, of the cache location. It's at a very unique historical area. It happens to also be the visitor center. Hey, this is West Virginia Tim, and you've been watching Gadget Caches. Uh, I hope that this FM transmitter is giving you some ideas. It was perfect for me because in the Gadgets of Berkeley County Geo to earn a Gadgets of Berkeley County Geocoin, you have to go back to the visitor center and turn in your passport. I wanted to show cachers here's where that's at, but there's already a cache there. So this cache because it's not a physical location it's it, it allowed me to place almost like a virtual there uh it's, it, it can either be a multi or a puzzle cache uh in my case it's a puzzle cache so it allows you to get there and uh place a cache where there already is a cache there the the actual actual physical container is about two blocks away Okay, Gadgets of Berkeley County. Listen, for the next uh, probably six or eight months, there's going to be Gadgets of Berkeley County geocoins available. So if you like gadget caches, plan a visit to West Virginia. A visit to Panhandle of West Virginia and earn your gadget cache. If, you, if it's too far away and you can't come, then subscribe to my channel because uh, every couple weeks... Uh, over the next month or so, I'll be putting out a new video showing a new and unique gadget cache. Um, um, cache. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to me. It means a lot. Hey, thanks, guys. See you. Bye.